Welcome, the Empress of Tomorrow. Her dominance, her unique appearance, and her unmistakable aura have all made Asuka one of the top competitors in the entire women's division. Lived up to the hype, surpassed the expectations, an undefeated run in NXT, NXT Women's Champion. A title she relinquished willingly to head to Monday Night Raw. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. Here comes the war goddess. Her entrance is just as unique as her offensive playbook. As a reminder, in this match, falls count anywhere around this arena. And I can tell you that these matches are incredibly difficult to call as the action rarely contains itself within the ring. And there's a lethal kick to the face. Guys, watching Asuka and Ember Moon reminds me of the arrogance Asuka is capable of displaying. She played many games and possibly underestimated Ember Moon. You can't argue that Ember Moon has been close to solving the Asuka puzzle. Shortcuts had to be taken by Asuka to avoid falling victim to Ember Moon's Eclipse. And the beauty of this Falls Count Anywhere match means we might just have the deciding fall take place right here in front of us. Byron, you called it Asuka taking shortcuts. I call it defending your ground. Ember Moon thought that Asuka's days were setting on the horizon and a new moon was rising, but Asuka rerouted Ember's warpath. The moon never shines brighter than the sun, and the sun is Asuka. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. When it comes to Falls Count Anywhere matches, for my money, there are few better than the November 2016 battle between Charlotte Flair and Sasha Banks. And a failed fireman's carry. When you've got your opponent up like that, you absolutely have to finish the deal. Drop down. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. Asuka looking uneasy now. Speaking of that classic Charlotte-Sasha encounter Corey mentioned, 
We should add that it was the first time ever that the Women's Championship changed hands in a Falls Count Anywhere match. And guys, I will never forget the image of Charlotte tapping out to that unique bank statement in the crowd surrounded by the WWE Universe. She makes it look easy. Asuka turns it around. You know, I'd say the Falls Count Anywhere match was popularized back in the Attitude Era, but before that, I remember Pat Patterson and Sergeant Slaughter's famous 1981 alley fight, which many consider to be the precursor to Falls Count Anywhere. She may be in a bad way here. Wow. As Byron mentioned, the Pat Patterson, Sergeant Slaughter alley fight had many of the elements of a Falls Count Anywhere match. Most notably, I'd say, was the heavy weapon usage. Yeah, that match had everything from cowboy boots to brass knuckles, but more importantly, weren't you born in 1981, Saxton? Good point. Yeah, she's a little bundle of energy right now. With a blind oh. hip attack! There is no cover. Looking for the quick cover is Asuka. The pinfall and the victory. How about another look at some of the highlights? Here is your winner, Asuka! Big win here, guys! Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. With that win in the books, we must now move on.